If you unlocked Rebirth in NBA 2K23 or are simply just looking for a new build to make, this is the build for you. This is the tallest ISO build in NBA 2K23 with over 88 plus badges. This build can dunk, dribble, shoot, play elite defense, and get maxed physicals. Don't believe me? Then let's waste no time and get straight into how to make this build. Drop a like on the video, 10,000 likes, and I'll get this build to 99 overall. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 1 million subscribers on the way. And let's get into this video, man. Let's get it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H. Back at it, we get another banger. And in today's video, I got a crazy build for y'all, okay? I was in the build creator for mad long making this build. So drop a like on this video if you guys want me to get this build a 99 overall and show y'all some gameplay because this build is absolutely crazy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. 1 million subscribers on the way. But look, y'all, like I said, I was in the build creator for probably at least six, seven hours after I unlocked the rebirth. And all you have to do is just become a starter in my career to get rebirth. But anyways, I unlocked rebirth and I went ahead and went to the build creator to make my new ISO build. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how I made this build. So if you guys remember the first ISO build I made, that build is still very good. I'm still gonna be using that build on current gen as well. But this build is going to be a little taller, kind of a little bit of the opposite when it comes to one of the, some of the stuff I said in that video and this build's play style. But I'm gonna explain that a little further in the video. Let's start with position. Now, with position, you can go point guard, shooting guard, or small forward. It doesn't matter which one you go. So if you want to play point guard because you want to take advantage of some smaller players in my career, or if you want to play shooting guard because that's the position in Pro-Am you want to run, or maybe you want to play small forward because you want to start on a certain career team, or that's the position you want to play in the rec, then go ahead and do that. It don't matter. You have to go point guard, shooting guard, or small forward. I'm going to go point guard just to take advantage of some of the players in um, my crew that are smaller and to also make the matchups when it comes to 2v2 to 3v3 a little more weird and i feel like i would have a, a lot more mismatches in the park if i make it point guard so we're gonna go ahead make it point guard i'm gonna go hand this left hand because that's what i always do and of course number one for derrick rose so moving on from the vitals we're gonna go to the body settings now the height i was looking at six seven six eight six nine six ten i was looking at everything okay because my first build was six six and i wanted to make it something a little different okay because that build's good but i want to make just something different and i wanted to go taller because i see a lot of stretch bigs are back taller players are looking really good and after playing the game and seeing how the game works, I know that speed is just doesn't really matter that much. You can get away with a low ball handle, a low speed with ball. So we're going to go six foot nine. This build is going to be massive. Now, when it comes to the weight, our last build was max wingspan because we wanted that strength. And we wanted that strength because we knew our driving dunk was going to be low. So we needed to get bully. We needed to get that strength to push people out of the way to get those wide open layups. Now, this build's a little different. Our driving's going to be very good when we go to the stack so our weight our strength does not need to be good and we're already 6'9 so if we go up with the weight our speed with balls is going to get lower and lower and speed with ball is more important than speed so we want to go as low as possible we want to get that 76 speed with ball now you can go up two pounds to go with 187 pounds because it's not really going to affect anything it's just going to give you plus stats it's not going to make your speed with ball go down and it's not going to make it's not going to make your acceleration go down either which is another thing we do want high acceleration and this is what that low weight is also going to do for us now with the wingspan i usually always just go max wingspan with this build as you can see if i go max wingspan i'm going to get an 82 three-pointer and after uh, almost like, like what three days four days of everybody playing the game a lot of people have noticed that there are full bars when you get to a certain low three-pointer and it's around 78 80 and i don't want to have an 82 three-pointer my last build had an 85 three-pointer and i can literally shoot from anywhere there's no full bars i get a bunch of greens so i want to do that with this build as well this build is almost like a stretch point four that can just do everything like i want to be able to shoot lights out at six nine and if i can do that then i'm going to be able to shoot over people and people are not going to be able to get contests on me so we're going to go with the seven foot four wingspan which is already a long wingspan itself because we're 6'9", so it's not like we don't have a long wingspan. 
and then body shape you can go with whatever you want i'm gonna go define i think this one looks the best for this build so we're gonna go ahead and continue and go on to the stat now in my last build video i always said oh you have to like pick one of these five things and have it not be good and i have picked finishing for it to not to be good but that's because we were a faster build and we had our strength max with this build we're not going to be as fast because after playing the game i know you can get away with a lower speed a lower speed with ball and i'm gonna have almost no strength because this build's finishing is going to be so good to the point where i don't need bully okay now i'm also going to show you guys gameplay in the tester of me using this build at 99 overall with random animations and jump shots and show you why that this this is the way so let's go ahead and start with our driving stats we're going to put our layup to an 80 this is going to give us the fast layup animations and the best layup packages in the game driving dunk we're going to go ahead and put that to an 86 to start because 85 is going to give us the contact dunks and 86 is going to give us gold limitless takeoff then we're going to put our standing dunk to a 75 this is going to be a very underrated stat for this build we're going to unlock standing dunk animations that are going to be very good for this build especially since it's six foot nine we're just going to be dunking on people down low at standing dunks that's something i'm very excited for for this build because i usually never get to upgrade standing dunk and it's definitely a very good stat then we're going to put our close shot to a 76 and that's going to give us 18 finishing badges and we're going to put our driving dunk plus one more just to give us 19 finishing badges now we're going to add more finishing badges later but we're going to move on to shooting first like i said i wanted that 85 three-pointer we could get 86 but i'm gonna stick with 85 put our free throw down a little bit so there we go now that's 19 shooting badges we're gonna put our mid-range up to a 76 which is gonna give us 21 shooting badges now i'm gonna add some more shooting badges later but before we do that let's move on to playmaking so playmaking i'm gonna get a max ball handle 87 ball handle that's gonna give us gold quick first step as a 6-9 player speed with ball is going to be a 76 now trust me in game it's actually very fast i thought 76 speed with ball would be a little slow but i'm i was wrong at first okay the speed is 76 speed with ball is very fast on the court and i'm gonna put my pass accuracy up until we have 21 playmaking badges so our passes are gonna be very fast with this build as well and i'm actually gonna add more playmaking badges later as well so as you notice we have very good stats in driving shooting and playmaking and I also mentioned that I'm going to add more badges in all three of those soon. Yes, I am. I know it's crazy. We have all these stats. You're like, there's no way you're going to have enough for defense and physicals. Oh, wait, just wait, because this is a defensive build. We're going to go ahead and put our perimeter defense to a 79 at first. And then we're going to put our steel to an 85. And then we're going to put our block to an 81 at first. So let's do that. Our offensive rebound to an 86 at first and our defense rebound to an 81 at first and then our interior defense to a 67 at first now as you can see after every set i just upgraded i said at first because these are not going to be our final because these are not going to be our final defensive stats now as you can see look at this badge count i mean you're probably thinking i don't have enough for physicals oh we're gonna have enough for physicals we're gonna go ahead and go with a 78 speed because that's gonna be a little higher than our speed with ball and technically there's no point of having a faster speed than your speed with ball because you're gonna have you're gonna be a 76 speed with the ball in your hands regardless so this is this speed stat is really just when you don't have the ball so we'll go with 78 acceleration is more important than speed so we're gonna go with an 81 because that's when you hold on to the right trigger to run and then we're gonna go with a 75 vertical so we can get and unlock those contact dunks that we put our 87 dunk at for a reason and then we're gonna put our stamina to a 95 so when we get gym rat we have a 99 stamina now we don't get a 95 stamina yet uh so we're gonna leave it at 91 for now now you could go with this badge count right here and make this build and get the exact same build name i'm gonna have but that is not what i'm going to do because as you can see we're gonna change around our finishing shooting playmaking and defense really quick so with the is we're not gonna get silver ankle is we're not gonna get silver anchor and we're not gonna get silver clamps and we're only gonna get bronze in each of those categories and i want silver for both of those i think that's pretty valuable so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is put our offensive rebound down to a 76. i'm gonna put our defensive rebound down to a 66 because once again this build for me is going to be an iso guard build i know it's six nine but that's what i'm gonna use it as it can play center too if you wanted to it can really do anything like you can adjust this build however you want but 
this is what I'm going with. You can adjust it. You don't have to do exactly what I do. But I'm going to do, um, but I'm going to put the rebounds down a little bit. Then we're going to put the block. Then we're going to put the block up to an 87 so I can get that silver anchor. And then we're going to put our perimeter defense to an 86 so I can get that silver clamps. And I think this makes our defense way better. I know we lost three uh, defensive badges, but it, I counted the tiers up. I wouldn't have been using those on any good badges anyways. So I'd rather unlock silver clamps and silver anchor and get three less defensive badges and have way better defensive stats and use way better defensive badges if that makes sense. So now we can put our stamina to a 95. And then with the last stats, you can put this wherever that you want. You can put it a little higher on the interior defense, get a 70 interior defense. You can go ahead and put it on a rebound, steal, perimeter defense. You'd only get plus one in these. Um, really anywhere, you're only gonna get plus one, mid range, pass accuracy, close shots um layup driving dunks but what's crazy about this is you only get plus one in most of these but guess what you can get plus two in speed so we're actually gonna have an 80 speed on a 6-9 player pretty crazy 81 acceleration and a 76 speed with ball i'd rather just put that plus two on speed than get a plus one in these other stats i feel like even though i did say speed isn't as important as speed with ball yes that's true but i feel like having a plus two speed is more important than anything else i could do with the rest of these attributes so we're gonna go ahead and put that in 80 speed now earlier in the video i said i'm gonna add more driving shooting and playing badges yes we are because when you become a starter in my career you get plus four badges and i'm gonna explain to you why 19 21 21 and 23 matches up perfectly with how all these tiers are set where you can put a plus one on driving plus one on shooting and plus two on playmaking and get the best badge setup of all time so that's going to leave us with a badge count of 20 finishing 22 shooting 23 playmaking and 23 defense which is going to give us a total of 88 badges now I'm gonna show you exactly why we upgraded all of this just like it is and what badges we're gonna be using in just a moment. Anyways, I mean, just look at this build, bro. I mean, we have everything we need. We have an 87 dunk for contact dunks. We have an 80 layup. We're gonna be standing dunking on dudes in the paint, 75 standing dunk, 85 three-pointer. We're gonna be shooting from half court, 87 ball handle. We're gonna be unlocking a bunch of dribble moves, 78 pass accuracy. We're gonna be dotting people all over the court, 86 perimeter, 85 steal, 87 block, we're going to do everything on defense. 80 speed, 81 excel, 95 stamina, 75 vertical. This build is absolutely insane. And the reason we get all these extra stats is because we're a little slower with this build and we have and we didn't upgrade our strength. That is why this build is such an all-round build. And I'm going to show you why that these two flaws with strength and a little lower speed don't even matter because our the strength that won't matter because of how high our finishing is and the speed doesn't matter because we're so much taller and lengthier and so much faster with the badges that we're gonna have that it won't even be noticeable anyways let's go ahead and continue to start with the talking and let's look at the takeovers it unlocked slashing takeover shot creating takeover sharp shooting takeover and lock takeover i mean those are the best takeovers in the game we can put on easy blow buys we can put on ankle breaker shots we can put up on limitless, limitless range spot of precision extreme clamps what i'm gonna do is put on limitless range and extreme clamps i think that's gonna be pretty overpowered this build especially with how easy it is to get team takeover when you're in the park but i can change that whenever i want when to get mama mentality anyways let's go ahead and continue yes this is the my player we want to build and here we go the build is compared to both of the ball brothers and penny hardaway and this is called an inside out score and that's exactly what it is it can score inside outside the paint and play defense outside and inside the paint anyways let's go ahead and show you guys the badges for this build that i'm going to be rocking now big reason i upgraded the build the, the way i did is because of the badges i think that that's a very important way to look at it so we're going to look at it that way so let's start with the finishing and another thing i forgot to say is this build is so glitchy because a lot of the good badges are not in tier three they're in tier two and tier one so they are a lot cheaper so not only do we have a high badge count on this build but we're also going to have way more badges because for some reason with this build the best badges are not even in the highest tier and one of those badges is slithery finisher we're going to put that on silver how is that a tier one badge that is one of the best finishing badges fearless finisher 
How is this not a tier three badge? I don't know. We'll take silver. Same with Little Must Take Off. I'll take that on gold. Post Riser, we're going to core that pad badge and put it on silver. And then we're going to put Rise Up on bronze for our standing dunks. And then we're going to put Masher on bronze for now. But when we get that plus four for being a starter in my career, I'm going to use one of the plus ones, and I think you should too, to put on finishing so we can get silver Masher. So just pretend like we have silver Masher. This is a crazy finishing lineup here. I mean, this is insane. And we're 6'9 with a 7 foot 4 wingspan. Anyways, moving on to the shooting, we're going to go ahead and go with gold amped. I don't like that's a tier one badge. That, that's crazy. Uh, we're going to go with silver agent threes and we're going to go with gold guard up. And then we're going to go with silver limitless range, which is absolutely crazy on a 6'9 build. And you need an 85 three pointer for this. This is another reason why we went lower on the wingspan. So we can get silver limitless range on a 6'9. Absolutely crazy. And then we're going to go ahead and put blinders on silver. You can put dead eye on silver instead of blinders if you want, but I'm going to go with blinders instead. Low key, dead eye could be a good option. I might switch that up because we're so tall. Uh, and lengthy that it'll be harder to contest us with that anyways i'm gonna go with that for now and then we're gonna go with gold space creator this is a very good badge you break this is the only shooting badges that you can actually break ankles with that's literally crazy we're also going to use our second of our plus four badges on shooting and put a plus one to shooting so we can get hall of fame space creator on this build so pretend like we have hall of fame space creator this is a crazy shooting badge setup for a 6'9 player with limitless take in a 7 foot worn 4 wingspan. Playmaking bad is we're going to start with silver mismatch, gold quick first step, and gold anchor breaker. Now we're going to unlock those tier 3 badges. We're going to go ahead and core unpluckable and then we're going to put handles for days on silver and then for now we're going to put bronze killer combos but I'm also going to use our last two of our four plus four bad is for becoming a starter in my career. We're going to put both two of those last ones into playmaking. So I'll be able to unlock silver killer combo. So pretend like we have that. And then I'll also be able to put on Hall of Fame ankle burger. So pretend like we have that. So just imagine that for a second. Not only are we going to have Hall of Fame space creator, but we're also going to have Hall of Fame ankle breaker. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. We're going to be breaking and we get ankle breaker shots as a takeover. This build is going to be breaking everybody's ankles. Moving on to the defense, we're going to go ahead and go with silver glove to start. Now, I've heard a lot about this badge. This badge is overpowered. You get so many on ball pluck steals with this. We're going to go ahead and have it on silver challenger gold clamps silver. We're going to go ahead and core anchor silver. I mean, I don't know how so many of these defensive badges that are good are not in tier three on this build. We have all of the good ones in tier one and tier three. three. So now we can also put gold chase down. We still have defensive badges over left over. We can put on gold interceptor. We can put on or silver interceptor and we can put on gold menace. I mean, we literally have every badge we could need. I don't need any of these other badges. You know what I'm saying? Like personally, I don't, I don't even want rebound chaser pogo. I don't want post lock. I don't need any. I don't want any of those. We have the best ones. We have them all maxed out for our tiers. So that is absolutely ridiculous on how this bad setup is looking right now. Now, before we get into the gameplay, I know a lot of you were commenting in my last video. How do you upgrade it to 85? How do you upgrade it to 90, et cetera, et cetera? Because that's a really big deal, especially in next gen. So here's a screenshot of what I would do if I were to upgrade it to 85. And then if it's a rebirth, this is what I would do if I were to upgrade it to 90 at first. And then after you do these upgrades, whether it's 85 or 90, I would focus a lot on defense afterwards. Uh, the reason the pass accuracy is so high at first because the passes are so much slower without it. And I feel like in my curve, you're going to grind bad as an overall throwing lobs is huge. And you're going to need that higher to do that. So yeah, anyways, moving on to the gameplay. But look, y'all, I got a little bit of gameplay for y'all. Like I said, just in the builder test. So nothing crazy, but look, I'm making heavily layups with this build. So I don't need that strength that we were talking about. I mean, I was making so many contested layups because I'm so tall. My finishing is so high and uh, I have a bunch of driving baddies. And look it, I'm still moving fast. I mean, they gave me the rate default drill moves and a default jump shot. 
and I was still going crazy. And you're going to also see that I was shooting over Lonzo Ball, who is 6'6", because he couldn't get a contest on me. I mean, look at that. That's looking like a stretch big from 2K19. I'm not going to lie. Zion driving in on me. Yeah, I don't have strength. But guess what? I have all the defensive badges and stats. I'm sending his shit to the crowd as well. Jason Tatum with lock take. And yo, we can still combo up. We can still dribble up. Jason Tatum lock take. We shooting over those. This is a stretch big. This is a point four. This is a lockdown. This is a slasher. This is the all around rebirth build. I'm telling y'all, man, this build is going to absolutely be insane. Look at no energy. Doesn't matter. Making the contested layup. Y'all need to drop a like for this build because this build is crazy. I cannot wait to get to the park and get this build to 99 overall. I'm going to be going crazy in the city with this build. So, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new because I can't wait to drop gameplay with this build again. Even if you missed the first layup, we have an offensive rebound. We have the badges to get that back. And baby Lonzo Ball, look at heavily layup. It doesn't matter. It's going in. I mean, this build is literally a glitch, y'all. I don't know what to tell you. You can shoot over, make it tested, play defense dribble it has the physicals it can do it all and that's why it's called the all-around rebirth build Raymond drip won the 10 right quick before y'all exit out the video you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna lie we looking drippy out here but like i said drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace